Robin Bensi, welcome to Chow Time, and welcome to Belgrade, Serbia. This is the capital of the country, and I had been hearing about their fried cheese and with a tartar sauce on it that they say goes well with anything, any time of day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I found this charming restaurant, and I ordered this. I'm about to take a bite, and if it's any good, I'm going to make it in my very own kitchen for you. And yes, this would go with anything, any time of day. Now, I've made a few changes to the fried cheese that I had in Belgrade. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to mention that they used Gouda, which they do in Serbia a lot, which I find funny because it's from the Netherlands, but it's a great semi-hard cheese that fries really well. Uh, secondly, uh, I added to the breadcrumb coating some almonds because I think that'll add a great flavor and also they typically serve it with tartar sauce I'm not a huge fan of tartar sauce but the national drink in Serbia is plum brandy so we're going to make a plum brandy dipping sauce so here's where we start you need four dishes and you have to do it in this order in dish number one is some milk about a quarter of a cup in dish number two is some flour, about the same amount. In dish number three, I'm going to crack two eggs. Whisk those up. And then in the last dish, I'm going to take about a cup and a half's worth of plain breadcrumbs. And to that, I'm going to add about a half a cup of almonds. Now these are not ground, these are finely chopped. Because I, I do want a little bit of substance there in the breading. Now, we're going to drag everything over to the stove, in this order. So I have uh, about a half an inch of vegetable oil heating up in a large skillet. I'm going to do the little, the little test. You can throw anything in there, water or breadcrumbs, and see they're browning right away. So that is ready. Now here's a note about the Gouda cheese. Uh, at that charming restaurant in Belgrade, they had big pieces of cheese. I prefer sort of longer, skinnier pieces of cheese. So we're going to do a couple at a time. First, you dip them in milk to get them moist. 
Then you dip them in flour to get them dry. Then you dip them in eggs so the eggs cling to it. And then you dip them into the almond breadcrumbs. And we'll start frying. Milk, flour, eggs, almond breadcrumbs. Now this just took a couple of minutes. You want to turn them once. You want them to be a nice sort of deep rust color. Okay, the first batch is done. Now I've used, uh, for a pound and a half of Gouda, it's going to take two batches. So I'm just putting them into a paper towel lined bowl. And then right after they come off the heat, this is when you salt them. So a little dusting of salt. Now I'll go do the second batch. I'm all done frying this gouda. So I'm going to put it in a warm oven while I make the plum brandy sauce. This plum brandy sauce is very simple. It's only two ingredients, plums and brandy. Now I found some plum butter, but you can use plum jam, plum preserves, chopped up plums, whatever suits your fancy. I'm going to do about um, maybe two-thirds of a cup. I just want that to melt, kind of liquefy. See, with just a little heat, going to melt down. Now I'm going to add a couple of healthy tablespoons of brandy. And that is it. So I'm going to pour it into my dipping bowl. And now I will fetch my cheese. Just pile it all on a platter. Well, let's give it a whirl with my plum brandy sauce. Mmm. The almonds make a big difference, too. I love the almonds in this. You know, where I come from, on most menus, you see mozzarella sticks, fried mozzarella sticks. This fried Gouda with almonds and this plum brandy sauce is just something a little bit different, a little bit unique, and it's delicious. And as you can see, this will serve a crowd.